When you're on the right path, the path is effortless. Doesn't mean you don't have to work or it's not hard work, but it means it just flows out of you. Whatever that work is, Mm -hmm. this house, when I remodeled this house, it was effortless and I worked my ass off at the same time. I didn't feel bogged down by decisions or I didn't feel, you know, when, of course, in every construction project, there are problems and challenges that Mm -hmm. you have to overcome that didn't make me want to stop. So when, when you have things that make you want to stop, I think you have to listen to that when you're going, I want to quit. If you're a quitter by nature and you quit everything, that's maybe a different issue. But if you're not a quitter and you're having these like, I think I want to quit. I don't think this is working. This is not working. You should pay attention to that. All of that is is the universe, is God talking to you and directing you. You just have to listen and pay attention. So I think as I got better at that, as I was in my adult life, I got better and better at that. And then that is what makes you fearless is listening to that higher self or the higher power or God or whatever you want to call it. Because if something's too hard, in my opinion, it's the wrong path. Like that you can tell when you're beating your head against the wall and getting no progress. And you can tell when you're making progress, but it's just difficult. Those right. are two very different things. Mm-hmm. And as I think as a kid, I, or not a kid, but as a young or adult, I started really focusing on listening to that piece, not even being involved in what the pieces were, but the piece where, oh, this is too hard. Pivot. If you go over here, is it easier? Oh, then that's the path. Mm, interesting. And if yes. you can find that, even with relationships at a certain point, I went, oh, this is too hard. I'm out. Right. Why am I forcing it with yeah. someone that Why doesn't do want to be with me? Right. If you're not into me, right. then I'm gone. I mean, right. even with Bert in the beginning, Bert was introducing me as his friend. The first party we went to where oh we had God. clearly been dating. And I went, what? Okay. <laughs> What? Mama's 31. <laughs> Mama's been to this rodeo and mama's not playing this game. Oh my gosh. I'm your so girlfriend. Funny. And if I'm not your girlfriend, mm-hmm. I'm wasting my time. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go. And he was like, oh no, you're my girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. I was like, good. Then let's be that. Okay. Because the path, right? That, that could have been difficult if I hadn't said something to him. Right. And I'd let that bother me. And then it happened again and I let it bother me and let it bother me. Yeah. Well, now the path is hard. So much easier to go, dude, what are you doing? Don't do that. And And if that's what you're going to do, then I'm getting off this path right now. We're so afraid, I think, to speak our truth because we're afraid that person's going to leave us, even if they're bad for us. Totally. (laughs) I know it. The best gift you can have is to learn how to be by yourself. Oh, my goodness. It's so true. That's the best gift. Because if you can be by yourself, you will always be okay. Yep. Always and forever. It's not that you're not lonely when you're by yourself. It's not that you're not bored when you're by yourself. Those things happen and are true. But to be okay in that uncomfortableness and to sit there by yourself and be okay is the biggest strength you can have. Because you come into this world by yourself, you leave this world by yourself. Did I tell you that? Was that my gem of wisdom? I think it is. Because I say that. And if, if you you say that, that is crazy. I have always said that. I have always said that. And the people you meet along the way enhance the journey. and They not, enrich you. That's right. And not everyone's going to be there with you. People will go on different journeys yep. and different paths. And there's life lessons that we learn. But yeah, it really is... Um, so important to speak our truth. That's the lesson I'm learning right now, actually, is to speak up and say what I need. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard yeah. to do sometimes. It's very, very hard. Now, talk about being afraid. Um, it's yeah. very scary to say, to think someone's going to leave you, especially someone you've been with for a long time or, right. some, or a parent or a sibling who is part of your soul in a certain way. Right. It's really hard. But really, at the end of the day, how you speak your truth is important. You know, you have to speak it in a way that's respectful and kind to the person you're giving it to. Right. Um, in a way that they can hear it, where you can feel heard. It feels really good to go, you asshole, blah, blah, blah. That feels right. great. Right. But it's not going to get you what you want. Mm-mm, you know, if you mm-mm. want to be heard and validated, you have to temper yourself and, right. and deliver 
So with that love. Can, yes. Right. And kindness and compassion and understanding the other person maybe doesn't have your perspective. I feel like we're soulmates. We are soulmates, I Kelly. You're like, just figuring this out. I feel like. Where have you been? This is, I know. <laughs> I feel like this is so true. And I think That's it's really very true. difficult to get to that place sometimes when you're so upset with somebody mm-hmm. to come from a place of love and compassion and, and be honest because, you know, what if they, what if they walk away from you? What if they don't like what you have to say because the situ because it's become so crazy, mm-hmm. but, um, and the, what if is you'll be okay. 